of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Horatio Imperata, Prayer Against the COVID-19 Pandemic God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the 2019 and coronavirus that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this epidemic. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calumsud, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. And with your spirit. There are only a few of us inside the Santo Nino Basilica, and this is because of COVID-19. But I also know that many, hundreds, perhaps thousands, may be following us or joining with us through live stream or Facebook as we come and gather to glorify God and to celebrate the 455th celebration of Cup Plug, that finding of the image of Senor Santo Nino. And so, in the time of COVID, we still would like to say this is a significant event for which we can only glorify God and thank the Lord and honor our beloved Senor Santo Nino. We offer this Mass in thanksgiving for that wonderful event that has shaped our life and direction as a people. We thank the Lord for the Augustinian community who has made it not only possible but has popularized the devotion all throughout the world. And we pray in this time of COVID that Kaplag may find a new meaning or dimension in our life. Even as we now offer this Mass, asking the Lord that there will be an end to COVID soon, that we be, be back to what we consider as normal and may glorify God in our wonderful way of devotion. To prepare ourselves for today's Mass, we call to mind our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that you have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what you have done, in what you have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. They pray as the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. sa Diyos dito sa langit. Oh, 
sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace you or your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all, serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest. As people make merry, when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that tramped in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rest. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains, by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song. For he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm.
the Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing praise to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and melodious song, with trumpets in the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption, to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in thy beloved. Therefore I too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call. What are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the holy ones? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. People were bringing children to Jesus that he might touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he became indignant and said, know to them let the children come to me do not prevent them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these amen I say to you whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it then he embraced the children and blessed them, placing his hands on them. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Father Ander Rivera, the Provincial Superior, Father Jun Nuhara, the Rector of the Basilica, our dear brothers, members of the Order of San Agustin, O Kamu Atumaya Kegsunan, whom we know follow us or join with us in today's celebration of the Eucharist, the celebration of 455th Kaplag. To all, to all of us, a few of us gathered here, but especially to all of you, devotees of the Senor Santo Nino, Pit Senor, Pit Senor, O Malipayon no Pagsaulo, Ika 455 nga anniversaryo sa Kaplag. Even with COVID-19, we do believe that coming together in this basilica and sharing with you the gift of the Eucharist and with you celebrating Kaplag even in your homes would certainly be most meaningful. Because today we would like to celebrate the love of God through Senor Santo Nino. It would help us to appreciate the significance of Kaplag if we recall what happened a little over 455 years ago. Upon the royal order of King Philip II, Fray Andres Ordaneta, an Augustinian priest, together with Miguel Lopez de Legaspi and four other Augustinian priests, Fray Martin de Rada OSA, Andres de Aguirre, Augustinian, Diego de Herrera, and Pedro Gamboa, and of course the crew, set sail and boarded now Capitana on November 20, 1564, underway from Mexico to the Philippines, of course passing Samar and, and Bohol. We remember that date because after a little over three months, they arrived in our country. And on April 22, they left Bohol, and on April 28, 1565, coming to Cebu, Legaspi ordered the artillery to fire and people from the village left and the town was empty and yet any house that was burned we know the story inside the box we found the image of Senor Santonino the image that was given to Queen Juana during her baptism If you think for a moment that the people fled, the Senor Santonino was left. Father Andy was telling me, it's almost like what is happening now. There are no people. <laughs> but the Santonino is here. Only to assure us, some people or people may not be present, but God is present through the Senor Santonino. And that's what we would like to recall now, that moment of Kaplag. Sibwano word which means, you know, finding. The finding of that image of the Senor Santo Nino, that image which was actually asked by Queen Humamai or Queen Juana when she was baptized and gifted to her by Magellan. And we now know that that image, that statue, the most popular image here in our country and of course in many parts of the world. We can only and we do well to glorify God 
for the finding of the image of Senor Santo Nino, the cup plug as we know it. Pete Senor. Pete Senor. My dear brothers and sisters, we can imagine the joy, especially of the Augustinian friars, finding the image, knowing it was the image given to those who were baptized to the Queen, knowing its significance. In their annals, they would say, you know, it fired the Augustinian friars and gave them hope and courage in their mission of Christianizing the Philippines. And of course, the rest, as we often say, is history, how the devotion has spread. But if we reflect for a moment on the feeling of that finding of that cup plug, when they would say, yes, it fired them up. Yes, it gives them hope and courage, knowing that they, I mean the Augustinians, are here sent to Christianize, to evangelize. It gives them hope and courage. But we can also very well say it gives them joy at finding. It's like the many, the many parables in the gospel when you find something very precious, very important. Like in Matthew 13, when the merchant found the pearl of great price. Ah, this is something important. Sold everything so that he can acquire it. That's the feeling of joy. No. Or, if we, we think of Mary and Joseph, when they thought the Nino could not be found with the group, no. they came back, Luke 2, verse 4 to 6, and, and they were happy when they found the Nino. The, Jesus there with, you know, with the wise men in the temple. Or even the gospel on Sunday, the disciples on their way to Emmaus, when eventually, you know, they have discovered that the one, you know, that who was talking with them, shared with them the, the good news, you know, Luke 24, 32. They were saying, aren't our hearts burning as he was sharing with us the scriptures? The, the idea is the joy of finding something precious, of something important. My dear brothers and sisters, that is why our celebration of Kaplag, our celebration of the Feast of the Nino, is a joyful celebration because we know this is the Father's gift to us. God's gift to the Filipinos. We should, we should be happy. And, and we are a people who who come to Cebu, who come to the Basilica, who visit the Santo Nino in the spirit of rejoicing. The joy. Mga kaigsunan, related with joy is, with finding, with the joy is feasting. We, we celebrate. And here, we can, we can say that this is also true with the founding of the Nino. We need to, to celebrate. To rejoice with me. No. A, beautiful, a beautiful story, of course, is the parable of the prodigal son. You know. when, when the father is telling you know, the son, we should feast, we should celebrate. Because your brother, you know, when he left, was dead. But now he is alive. He is lost. But now he is found. I say this because I, I also would like to invite us to think that we often say we found the Nino. But in many ways, it is also true that the Nino found the Filipinos. God found us because the truth is, until Kaplag, 
in a sense, we were lost. History will tell us, and we can imagine, people were baptized 44 years ago, but without catechesis, no, without evangelization, without teaching, you know, what do we expect? And we learn from history that, to some extent, people apostatize, they return to their old ways. That's just expected, no, without, without uh, of, of course, evangelization. And so, in that sense, you know, finding the Nino, yes, we found the Nino, but also founding the Nino is in the, by the other outlook is finding us, we who were lost, you know, are now found. You know, we who are away from God are now back to God. In the gospels that we will sing, and of course, is is memorized by many of you. No? We say something like, "Kanila ikaw nagpakita gikan sa imong gugma." No? The ninyo, by God's design, was found or appeared because it would be an expression of God's love a new or renewed love for the people and this is what we rejoice and this is we're happy to have found but we rejoice we celebrate we faced because we who were lost in some sense are now found have an occasion to be back to God just like the son, the prodigal son, or the lost coin, the one who finds you will say, come and celebrate with me, because what is lost is now found. My dear brothers and sisters, the story of Kaplag is the story of the encounter having found. But in a special way, it is a story of mission. And as, as Bishop of Cebu, I, I take this occasion to thank the Augustinian friars and the succeeding missionaries who come after them. Because being gifted with the Nino, with faith, with baptism, is being gifted with the calling to become a family of God. It is in this context that first I'd like to appreciate what I know is happening. Since the quarantine, our churches may be empty. But I know that there are hundreds and thousands who celebrate being church through your prayers, through your masses, through your various religious activities. I know of a friend who tells me, Bishop, sad to, kung domingo, sa kabis lagi na kumanimba, karon tulo, no, tulo ka, ay, huwa magbuhaton, no, no, manimba, lain-laing TV, lain-laing Facebook, lain social media, no. But no, it's, he, she likes it, you know, she likes it, no, it's a new discovery, of being church. When people gather for prayer, it is a new discovery of being church. They may not be able to come, but they know that, that they are the church in the home. And that's something beautiful. And I'm sure you know, with the Nino, the missionaries had a way, of course, to, to remind us of, of God's love. The love and mercy of God. I, I thank God whenever in the gospels we sing sa pagtanaw kanimo no? Christiano silang nahimo. No? And I think uh, 
That's, that's very true. We celebrate uh, our being Christians by meditating, you know, by, by adoring the Nino, the Son of God became man. Mga Hinigugma, as we continue with this Mass, we pause for a moment and ask, especially what could mission mean, especially at this time of COVID? The enhanced community quarantine. We made mention of Kaplaga's discovery of having found. I think today, let us thank the Lord that many people have found you know, a new, you know, certain meanings. For example, they found a new, you know, the meaning of faith. I mentioned about churches are empty, but the church of the home are not. We mentioned about how people again found the meaning of family, of, of the beauty of coming together. At first they seemed to be forced, now they like it. Now we have found a new meaning to appreciating sacrifices. We appreciate the sacrifices of people. We call them frontliners or even those in the military who could not go home because, you know, uh, they watch us. Or even the, those who deliver services, they sacrifice. We appreciate the meaning of, of sacrifices. We appreciate what it means to be able to realize that our gifts are not meant just for us, but to be shared. Before the COVID, which makes us all equal, then we know that what we have are meant also to be shared with others. And so, mga hinigugma, as we continue this Mass, we pray that even amidst COVID, when we celebrate Kaplag, then we know we rediscovered new meaning in our Christianity, in our mission. In the prayer, we mention about how the little child is a symbol of trust. And we are asked to be little in that sense. We pray for that gift. Like the Nino, may we, because we are little, trust in the God we call Father. Because we are little, may we appreciate the services of other people. Because we are little, and in fact, before COVID, we feel helpless. We can sing with more meaning when we say, Kanamu, maluoy kaunta we pray for healing and we pray that when COVID would have been gone, then back to normal would not only be normal in the sense of like before. No. I often say it's not just survival after COVID, but a revival of many virtues especially the ones we now appreciate, the ones we now rediscover. We pray, as the Gosas would remind us, sa kalagnamo ang matahomong larawan Makahimo untag puloy anan. Amen. Kanyong tanan once more. Pit Senior, viva Senior Santo Nino. Senior Santo Nino.
humility in our being little in our weakness let us pray with confidence to the father for we are all his children bishops, priests, and all religious may always aspire for the gospel values of love, humility, and service rather than power and influence. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino our that our civil and political leaders may become fully convinced that true greatness is attained through service and care, especially for the weak and those who have less in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That the poor, the marginalized, and the victims of violence in our society may derive strength from the conviction that we have a special place in the heart of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That we may turn from selfishness and self-centeredness to concern for the earth in our brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That the servant of God, Teofilo Kamomot, Bishop, be raised to the altar of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That our devotion to the Santo Nino may help us to grow in wisdom and grace before God. Keep the spirit of a child and live with our brothers and sisters in openness, freedom, and friendship. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. We lift to the Lord all the intentions and prayers offered by the pilgrims and devotees of Senor Santo Nino. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. We pray for peace in our country and in the whole world. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That those affected and afflicted by the coronavirus disease may be strengthened with the help of the Holy Child, Senor Santo Nino. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Senor Santo Nino, receive our petition. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Give us the courage to do your will so that we may be worthy to share the eternal happiness of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Brethren, let my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. God, our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God for in the mystery of the word made flesh a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind so that as we recognize in him God made visible we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim indeed holy lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
the mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, with Saint Augustine, and all who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Sir, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us have for each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, my roof but, but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Isalik ko ganimo ang tanan 
Let us pray. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the child Jesus born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love so that we may be filled and find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Viva Pete Senor! Viva Pete Senor! <laughs> God is truly good to us that even in the midst of this pandemic, we are able to successfully celebrate the 455th Kaplag or finding anniversary of the miraculous image of the Santo Nino de Cebu. We had our Tudor Masses and online veneration of the original image of the Santo Nino, which started last Saturday. And our Kaplag online concert tonight at 8 p.m via our if me page please do watch it we were not able to organize all other activities that we usually do during the celebration but we remember and celebrate this day with gratefulness in our hearts we are very grateful for the gift of life that he gives us we are very grateful for the gifts of faith to our Santo Nino that keeps us going despite everything that is happening. And so, with a grateful heart, allow me to thank the following. First, to all the devotees of Sr. Santo Nino de Cebu in the Philippines and other parts of the world. Every day, we read your prayers 
and petitions. Thank you for keeping your faith to the Santon in you and staying hopeful and prayerful. Special mention to our brothers and sisters and devotees in South Korea. Hyungju Chaminimdul, Anyo Hashimnika, Han Malsum, Iyagi Hagoship Sumnida, COVID 19 it gitemoni, Modun Kajuk Durul Weheso, Joshim Hashigoyo, Krigo, Konggang Haship Shio, Kido Mani Hago Isumnida. Ne. To the Basilica Security and Territorial Personnel, Dakan kayong salamat sa inyong servisyo o sakripisyo taliwala ning maong krisis na maintain ang siguridad o kalimpyo sa Basilica Compound. Sa tanan usab ng media partners ng nagsibya o nagcross-post Nining Maong Santos nga misa, maraming salamat po. To the members of the Cofradia del Santo Nino de Cebu, both local and international, hermandad, affiliates, employees, and to all the mandated organizations here in the Basilica, we truly appreciate your unceasing support to us. To our prior provincial, Reverend Father Andres Rivera Jr. OSA, thank you for your guidance and for staying with us during this extraordinary situation. Your presence inspires and strengthens our desire to continue our mission, to serve in our ministry in the best way that we can for our province to the order, and to, in the, to the entire church. Thank you, Father Andy. And to our main celebrant and preacher, Archbishop Jose Espalma Didi, Archbishop of Cebu, together with Father Van Fernandez. In behalf of the Basilica and Provincial Aid Communities and the entire province of Santo Nino de Cebu, Philippines, our sincerest gratitude to both of you for being with us in this special day. Archbishop, thank you. Father Ben, thank you. Today also marks the 455th anniversary of the arrival of the Augustinians in our beloved country. And above all, to our dearest Senor Santo Nino de Cebu, lost and have found, child yet a king, the same king who died and has risen. All praises and thanksgiving we offer to you. Viva Senor Santo Nino! Viva Pit Senor! Blessing. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We're going to peace and joy of the Nino. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. In front. Sorry.
So